to this computer. And I think we are recording. So hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Kevin O'Brien, and I am uh, uh, calling to you from the west of Ireland. And joining me today is Nancy Kalelo, and she is an ore user from Eswatini. And Eswatini is a country in Southern Africa. And what we're going to do is, this is the YR World Series, and what we're going to do is interview people from around the world and ask them about their lived experience of being an R user. And Nancy Kalelo has uh, kindly agreed to be the first interviewee, so she's the pioneer of it. And yeah. she's going to tell us all about being in the R community in Eswatini. So, uh, hello, uh, I hope I pronounced your name right. Is that uh, yeah, Nancy so far Kalelo. it's okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Good That's stuff. Fine. And you're joining us from Eswatini. Tell us about Eswatini. Where is Eswatini? Uh, okay, uh, Eswatini is is from the southeastern part of Africa. Okay. Um, it is a landlocked country surrounded by South Africa and Mozambique. Okay, good stuff. So it's uh, it's it's just right beside uh, in the eastern part of uh, southeastern part of Africa. Yeah. And uh, t tell me, is, tell me what uh, what would Eswatini be famous for? I know it's famous uh, for elephants. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't know about that, but then uh, I think we're famous of being the only monarchical country, and of course, of our beautiful flag. Yeah, uh, I, I I wish we had it to share, but actually, that is correct. That the Eswatini flag is probably the most impressive uh, country flag in the world. It's definitely in the definitely number one. And tell me, uh, so you're in Eswatini. What city are you in in Eswatini? Sorry. What town are you in? Oh, I'm at Ezulini. Ezulini. It's a city. Okay. It's a. It's not the biggest city, no. No. Okay. Yeah. And tell me, so uh, Eswatini, it's, 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 it's a small country in Southern Africa, but uh, are you you're, uh, in the university there in the country, are you? Yes, I, I just completed last year. Oh, yeah. What were you studying? Uh, studying uh, studying a Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, majoring in, in Health Economics, Corporate Finance and Demography. Excellent. And obviously, uh, you were using R in that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, so uh, R was part of your studies. And tell me, so you learned R in the university, but there's also uh, an R user group in Eswatini. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, the R user group in Eswatini is, well, like is based uh, at the University of Eswatini, but it's for anyone uh, around Eswatini who's interested in learning and sharing the best practices in R. Excellent. Yeah. And there's been some uh, workshops last year, I believe. Yes. Um, we've actually had two. And then the, the third one was virtual. It was after COVID-19. Okay. Yeah. So just actually, I'll talk about one of the, the live events. Uh, uh, he Dr. Heather Turner from the R Foundation uh, done a tour, uh, uh, gave some workshops around Southern Africa uh, mm -hmm. last year. And I believe that Eswatini was part of that uh, circuit, that itinerary. Yeah. 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 So were you at that workshop? Were you? I was, I was at that workshop and it was, it was actually my first time. I was actually commencing in learning R and I learned a lot from Dr. Heda and it encouraged me to want to know more and learn R. That's when I become I became part of Eswatini user group. Excellent. Good stuff. And so you you're graduated now, is that correct? Yes. And uh, so you're still using R. Tell me about what you would like to do in the future as in um, your career and with R. Okay, my ambition with in, in using R is I want to continue to 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 learn as much in R and to grow and further share my experience, uh, probably in sort of tutorials, and in that way I'll be giving back to the community. I also want to contribute in building local capacity, um, uh, for data analysis and visualization here in Eswatini, and I hope that one day I'll 
represent Eswatini user out groups in collaboration with other global user groups. Excellent. Good stuff. Like this is uh, hopefully the first of many talks we'll be hearing from Eswatini. Uh, there's other members in the Eswatini R user group, I believe. Who runs the Eswatini R user group? Um, Dr. Emmanuel Olamichuan runs it. And then um, the, the other person who runs it is uh, Dr. Karikai Chimaka. And then there's the leadership team, the organizing team. Then there's Mr. Mbongeni Dube, Mr. Pegmusa Masina, and Ms. Uh, Luan Zamamba and myself, of course. Good stuff. And you mentioned uh, population health there as part of your studies. What would people in Eswatini focus on when they use R? I think mostly that focusing Eswatini as, as a country with high HIV prevalence rates, I think we do that to, 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 to research and make uh, sound policy recommendations so that we sort of like minimize the prevalence rates in Eswatini. That's excellent. That's very important work. And I'm glad to hear that R is being used for that. And uh, tell me, uh, so uh, that would be part of your, hopefully part of your career as well, or? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to stay in Eswatini or go abroad or? Uh, it's, 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 okay, I won't ask you those questions. It's big <laughs> questions, yeah. Thank Tell me, uh, just actually, let's talk a little about R. Uh, what are your favorite R packages, and what do you like to work with? Oh, uh, since I've been uh, I've been working with the R language for a year now. I've I've used uh, R based on my on my academic work, so I've only been able to use R stats. I've used X quiz. I hope I pronounced that right. I've used ggplot2. I've used Rstats card package. I've used Mars. Yeah, those are the uh, packages I've used so far for my research and um, methodology part. Excellent. And you're those, so those are like solid statistical packages. That's CAR, the regression package, is it? The yes, that's yes. That, that's a very interesting package. And the mass package, MASS, that's a very interesting package too. Actually, there's a lot of very interesting uh, functions. functions in that, like robust regression and so on. Yeah. Ah, good stuff. And so, uh, the next question is uh sorry it's just uh i'm drawing a blank would you like to sort of what would you like to do would you go abroad to like to, uh, is that part of your uh to do, represent the eswatini community when we're back to normal yes i'd love to go abroad and um share our culture as well as our our experience as eswatini user and have people come to our country as well to sort of share their experiences and teach us their best practices in R. It's not difficult to get there. I mean, it's, it's it, well, it's, it's, it's close to Johannesburg. Is that correct? Yes, very close. It's like four hours away from Johannesburg. And uh, also Maputo is very close as well. That Maputo is the capital of Mozambique. So it should be fairly accessible to get there. Yes. Uh, so do you have contact, uh, the, I recognize that the Eswatini R user group is probably very young, but have you had co contact with R user groups in other parts of Africa, like Johannesburg or Lesotho or anything like that? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, we've had contact with our ladies Johannesburg, we've had contact with YR, we've had contact with Botswana user, we've had contact with Nairobi. Yeah. Yes. No, user, yes. Good stuff. Uh, speaking of our ladies, would there be, an, uh, do you see, uh, foresee an our ladies Eswatini group in the future? Yes, yes, for sure. There will be more and more see. our ladies there. And you, okay, excellent. That's good to hear. And uh, tell me, so you touched upon COVID now. So I, I recognize that a lot of countries around the world are coping with COVID. How how how's the experience been in Eswatini with the COVID crisis? Um, it's actually devastating, but yes. as a country, I believe we will we'll, we'll overcome that together as a yeah. people nation, and we'll be okay. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. Hopefully things will uh, improve very soon. Just at the time of recording, this is February 2021. 20, okay. So this is when the, this video is recorded. And if you're watching in the future, the coronavirus right now is still very devastating a lot of countries, even in Ireland where I am. So that's it. I think actually that's uh, uh, the interview really. So if you have any parting words, we'll, we can let you have the last word well i'd hope that uh, anyone who's watching it will contact us via our twitter is what the new user and probably like uh, want to be in in our tutorials or collaborations or whatever yeah that's excellent keep in touch we're going to put um after the this uh, video is broadcast we will put in more details about the eswatini or uh, our user group into the, the video description so hopefully there'll be plenty of interesting material about the es eswatini and the our user group there and if you're close to eswatini if you're in johannesburg please consider uh paying them a visit i'm sure that a lot of the uh or people around the world would love to go there because it sounds like a very interesting country. Thank very, you. It sounds very beautiful, actually. I really want to go there. I think that's our interview done. Uh, Nancy Calello from Eswatini, thank you very much for being the first YR World interviewee. Uh, thank you for having me. Great stuff. Thank you very much, folks. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to press the uh, stop the recording now. So.